Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bob Walker speaking from Dallas Love Field. This is the control tower at Dallas Love Field, where a large crowd is gathered now to await the arrival of President and Mrs. John Fitzgerald Kennedy from Carswell Air Force Base in Fort Worth. This crowd uh, started gathering out here quite early this morning. Uh, I was out here at about uh, quarter of eight, and already a few diehards have gathered early to ensure a good vantage point. Police were circling the field all morning long from the early morning hours, and a huge contingent of police are on hand. It's hard to estimate the crowd at this moment because they are still coming in. But um, there are not many good vantage points left for uh, people to catch a glimpse of the president and his wife, the vice president and his wife, Governor and Mrs. Conley, and other state and local dignitaries. The Dallas welcoming contingent already moved out into the loading ramp earlier. Commercial jet is now landing, as you see. And the noise you hear in the background is that of a commercial jet going out to take off. Few signs in evidence among the crowd, uh, and mostly friendly. The president arrived last night in the Dallas-Fort Worth area at Carswell Air Force Base. He was scheduled for arrival tentatively at 10.45, but got in a little later than that. But was met by a very large crowd at Carswell Air Force Base. A lot of people who uh, braved the, the weather that was uh, in evidence last night. May mention here it's cleared off beautifully at Love Field. Out here earlier this morning, the weather was a problem because it was raining off and on, scattered showers. The skies were dark, and at about uh, 9.30, we started to notice some patches of blue. And sure enough, the patches of blue won, and uh, now we have a lot of blue sky showing and a bright sun sunshine. And uh, that sunshine feels mighty good, too, believe me, because it was quite cool out here, and it's still uh, nippy in the breeze, but... Uh, as the gendarme looks down over the crowd gathered, uh, it's a warmed up crowd compared to what it was a short while ago before the sun broke through. As we mentioned, the president was uh, greeted warmly last night at Carswell Air Force Base and they tripped in downtown to the Texas Hotel where he and uh, Mrs. Kennedy spent the night. And then of course the big crowd outside the hotel this morning in Fort Worth where about 8,000 people were on hand to hear the president make a few remarks. Then the breakfast, which you saw earlier, overcrowded, overflowing, as usual. When the president appeared on the parking lot uh, earlier today, that, by the way, the plane you're seeing now is a C-123, which transported in the uh, big limousine the famous bubble top limousine which the president and first lady will ride in however that limousine now is down in front of the uh, welcoming ramp and uh, yes I can see it from here and it does not have the top up so uh, our information from the, some of the uh, Secret Service men earlier was correct that uh, depending on the weather if it's nice weather no rain top would be down so evidently uh, for all of you people who will see the parade downtown, you'll see a glimpse of the President and First Lady in the flesh rather than through the bubble top glass on the outside. As I mentioned earlier, the President did step outside the Texas Hotel in a parking lot this morning where 8,000 people were gathered to hear him uh, speak briefly. A few were disappointed that the uh, First Lady was not there. Uh, the President uh, told him that she was upstairs prettying up and said it took her longer to get pretty than it did him and uh, the crowd loved that. She was wearing this morning a suit of uh, some sort of nubby material, uh, pillbox hat and all. The 
president also said this morning in Fort Worth that uh, it was the same, uh, it's been the same in Texas as it was in Paris, that uh, seems a lot of people uh, are more, are as much interested in seeing Jackie as him. In fact, he said uh, today in Fort Worth, nobody seems to care what Lyndon and I are wearing. And of course that drew a big ha uh, laugh and a hand, but uh, the people in Fort Worth would, did something about it because they uh, presented a pair of boots and a hat big uh, Texas style hat to the president and a pair of boots to Mrs. Kennedy. So uh, they have uh, at least uh, going to have some Texas clothes to take home and wear around the White House. The planes are stacked up now. The planes that were going to take off have stopped and uh, there is a jet coming in on the uh, south to north approach. They'll be landing from the south. Uh, Planes were landing from the north all morning, but we've had a switch in the wind. And uh, so they're landing in the southerly direction. In other words, they're coming from over downtown Dallas out to Love Field. Uh, this could be the press plane. It could be a plane with the president. We don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. The crowd continues to pour out of the terminal, too. A lot of stewardesses and uh, airline personnel are coming out to see the president. That's a TWA. Check it, Pan Am, sorry. <laughs> to remind you that uh, later this afternoon on most of these stations you'll be able to hear the president's speech from Dallas and also later that speech approximately at one o'clock and also later on uh, his departure will be telecast live right here at Dallas Love Field and that will be at approximately uh, 2 15 2 30 something like that uh, we don't know because uh, we have to approximate those times depending on how fast the luncheon and the speech goes, the motorcade and so on. But the president, of course, is uh, going to go on that motorcade when he arrives here and takes off through downtown Dallas. He'll go down uh, Lemon Avenue, Cedar Springs, uh, Harwood to Maine and the big uh, portion of it right down Main Street in Dallas from, uh, from Harwood, which is right at the uh, police department and city hall area all the way down Main Street past the courts building where he'll turn on Houston to Elm, go under the triple underpass, and uh, then shoot on out Stimmons to the Mart where he will speak at noon. According to uh, protocol, if protocol is followed here, the vice president's plane should land first so he can be on hand then to greet the president. But we don't know exactly what will happen. I may mention too that this is the first time since 1948 that a president has made an official visit to Dallas. Uh, president Kennedy was here in 1961 but he was not here on an official visit. He was here uh, to see an old friend, the late Speaker of the House, Sam Rayburn, who was ill at the time in uh, Dallas Baylor Medical Center. The president uh, came for that, but that, of course, was not an official visit. That Pan Am jet that landed earlier may have been the uh, press jet. It's another jet approaching now. A beautiful day now, just a beautiful day. That's, that's a jet. 
That's an official jet, United States of America. The crowd already is beginning to yell down below. And uh, that should be a protocol is followed uh, Vice President Johnson in that jet. And way off to the south, barely visible to the eye, is another jet coming in. Barking from that Pan Am jet that hit earlier. A lot of the uh, White House press corps that, of course, follows the president everywhere he goes, at home and abroad. The president has been quite pleased, I may add, in this Texas reception thus far. It's no and that there is a uh, pretty good rift going right now between Governor Connolly and Senator Ralph Yarborough. And whether or not the president can heal that rift uh, remains to be seen, but he is very pleased with the people, uh, the turnout, etc., and has uh, made no bones about saying as such. Next big jet approaches. And this one should contain the president and Mrs. Kennedy. Here comes Jack. Here comes the big jet in. The seal on the side. You'll see a crisscross in a moment. There goes number two right by. Beautiful sight, beautiful sight. This is number two. It's a 707 Astrojet. A lot of the Dallas official welcoming party is going out walking out to uh, meet the plane, headed, of course, by His Honor, the Mayor and Mrs. Earl Cavill, Mr. and Mrs. J. Eric Johnson. Mr. Johnson will introduce the President at the speech later this afternoon. Several others in the party that we've noticed, Dr. Lloyd S. Berkner from the Graduate Research Center, Judge Barefoot Sanders, Judge Lou Starrett, Unloading out of Air Force Two, the Vice President to party. This is the uh, passengers from the vice presidential plane being greeted by the Dallas official welcoming delegation headed by Mayor Cabell. And very uh, slowly up the side comes uh, 
Air Force One. Now Air Force Number One taxiing in. Fire truck, fire marshals and all following the plane, which is normal precaution for where the president goes. Right into us now. Swing open. Inside the door, the seal of the President of the United States. Mrs. Cabell uh, approaching with some red roses. Military delegation coming off first. A lot of There's Mrs. Kennedy, and the crowd yells, and the President of the United States. And I can see his suntan all the way from here. Shaking hands now with the Dallas people, Governor and Mrs. Conley. Governor Conley on your left. Mr. Jo uh, Eric Johnson in the official welcoming party. Mr. Conley shaking hands with Dr. Berkner. The president now partially obscured behind his wife and a big bouquet of flowers. Working their way slowly, Judge uh, Barefoot Sanders meeting the president who gave him a pat on the shoulder judge lou starrett now just visible governor Connolly uh, with his arm around the president kennedy backs up and waits for the president who stops to chat with some of the people greeting him here crowd waving as you can see People standing up all over everything available to, to get a glimpse of the president and his wife. Cheering and yelling going on down the way as they approach the cars. Beautiful break in the weather. Just a beautiful break in the weather. Clear blue sky and a warm sun. Uh, Nixon has gone home for the benefit of that person with his sign. He left at 9.05 this morning. The vice president, former vice president, was in town yesterday. Crowd forming around the president and first lady. That's the official party, not the general public, who is not allowed out uh, beyond the restraining fence here at Love Field. Now they're heading over to the car. Partially obscured uh, from our sight at the moment. People breaking away now, running over to get behind other fences to catch a better glimpse of uh, the uh, caravan as it would leave. We'll leave here shortly and go to downtown Dallas.
president is up to the fence now, shaking hands with people. The president and his wife are right up on the fence. The press is standing up high, getting a lot of shots of this. He's uh, done as he has done in several places. He's broken away from his uh, planned uh, plan and uh, gone right up to the fence to shake hands with people. This is great for the people and uh, makes the eggshells even thinner for the Secret Service, whose job it is to guard the man. But the audience loves this. Mrs. Kennedy's uh, beautiful pillbox hat was the only thing that gave it away. I saw the hat, and I knew they were there. And of course, the press going high and shooting right down below as the president and his wife kind of moving along the gate people yelling at them, people running on the inside now trying to come down to this end of the gate, this end of the fenced off area, hoping that the president and his wife will move along the fence. People out with cameras just holding him up and snapping away and hoping to get a, a picture out of their very own camera of the president and his wife. President still walking along that inside fence, shaking hands, uh, talking with people who have come out to greet him. Uh, they didn't expect this. Now as he becomes more visible down to this end, the people cheer. And here they come, right down toward us. I can uh, see Mrs. Kennedy. And they're going to come right on down and shake hands with everybody. Mrs. Kennedy gave a lovely smile and a wave at that time. Mrs. Kennedy, right up, there's the president shaking hands with the people. He's uh, waving at a lot of people, smiling, Secret Service men all around. Boy, this is something. They break right away and come right up to the fence, and the people who waited all morning in this fence are rewarded with a glimpse, and a lot of them with a close look and a handshake for the president of the United States and his wife. And he's coming right down to, uh, toward us and toward our uh, fine camera positions here. The press is having a field day. Somebody perched up on somebody's shoulders. The president saying, thank you very much. If I may be permitted to, to read a presidential lip movement. is a bonus for the people who have waited out here. Now, Mrs. Kennedy, right along behind him, the president still moving uh, over towards some phone booths that were set up for the press. The people surging up toward that fence, but there is a fence, and the president waves goodbye, waits for his wife, and back they go to the car. Governor Conley standing in the car, beaming. Governor Conley with a big 10-gallon hat on. Mrs. Kennedy stepping in the car first. Now the president. They both in the back seat now. Now the motorcade will very shortly start to move out. Sheriff Bill Decker, Dallas County Sheriff, driving his own car, personally escorting it with the chief of police, the presidential car moving out, the president and first lady, big, beautiful Lincoln, followed by a carload of press. Secret Service men, the car behind. Uh, then comes the Vice President and Mrs. Johnson, Senator Yarborough. Now people over in this area are getting a chance to see the President. That motorcade will swing way around, go by the Continental uh, Airlines maintenance hangar. 
head out for downtown Dallas where thousands should already be on the street right now awaiting for a view of the president and his wife. Dallas police out here in force today doing a beautiful job of handling the crowd along with a contingent of Texas Rangers And I still can't get over the fact that the president and his wife broke away from the planned uh, trek to the automobile and went all along this fence out here, right up to the fence, shaking hands and talking with these hundreds of people gathered inside that fenced-off area. It was a great thrill to them and a complete surprise. So the party now is uh, leaving Dallas Love Field. The three big White House press charter buses behind us getting ready to pull out. And, uh, of course, as we say, thousands will be on hand for that motorcade now, which will be downtown Dallas, uh, down uh, Cedar Springs, to Harwood, and on Harwood it'll turn on Maine, from which point it'll go all the way down to the courthouse area, which is the end of Maine. It'll turn on uh, Houston Street to Elm under the triple underpass, out to the mart where the president talks at uh, approximately 1 o'clock which will also be carried live right here on most of these channels. And then we'll be back here again, of course, as we told you, at about 2.15 for the president's departure. I must say that uh, the crowd out here uh, has grown considerably in the last uh, 15 or 20 minutes, and we are more concerned with uh, going on to the air uh, than we were watching crowds, and I would estimate 1,500 to 2,000 people out here. Uh, not as many as at Carswell last night, uh, to be sure, when they had six to 8,000 over there from all estimates we can gather. But still a goodly number for this uh, Love Field arrival, considering the fact that the president and his wife are going to be visible for uh, many, many miles and many minutes uh, from all the way at Love Field, seven miles from downtown Dallas and then through the downtown area, back out the expressway, out to the mart where the president will deliver his noontime speech, and uh, then back out here. So I would consider this a uh, big crowd, considering the fact the president and his wife and party are going to be visible all through Dallas. President in very uh, obvious good spirits and uh, very pleased with his Texas reception thus far, as uh, has been reported from uh, Austin, uh, rather from San Antonio, Houston, and Fort Worth last night and this morning, and just beaming uh, all the time. Mrs. Kennedy the same as they were walking along the fence and shaking hands with the people and the people getting a bigger kick out of it perhaps than the president and his wife, although that would be hard to imagine because they were thoroughly enjoying all of it. The uh, schedule the president is on is about on time too. These planes started pouring in here about uh, as time they were scheduled. The big Pan Am jet first of all full of the press traveling with the president then Air Force Two carrying the Vice President and his party, and Air Force One carrying the President and his party. And these three big jets will be here on the ground at Love Field until about 2.15 this afternoon, at which time the President uh, will take off and uh, go to Austin. He isn't through either. His Texas tour is uh, by no means over because he has a busy day uh, scheduled for Austin. They're due to land down there at Bergstrom Air Force Base at about 3.15 this afternoon. There's going to be a motorcade there, seven miles from Bergstrom down to downtown Austin. They're going to drive nine blocks down Congress Avenue, stop at the Commodore Perry Hotel in Austin, which will be headquarters for their visit there. At 4.15 this afternoon, a reception at the hotel for members of the State Democratic Executive Committee. The President will make a brief appearance there. At 6.15 this evening, the President with Mrs. Kennedy will attend another reception at the Governor's Mansion, attended by members of the state legislature and some statewide elected officials. The President's final uh, official appearance will be tonight at 7.30 in Austin at that $100 a plate Texas welcome dinner in honor of the President and Vice President, Eugene Locke of Dallas, who is State Democratic Party Chairman will be the master of ceremonies with Mrs. Kennedy, Mrs. Johnson, Governor, and Mrs. Connolly among those at the head table. This will be held at the Austin Municipal Auditorium. The president will then go to the LBJ Ranch where he and Mrs. Kennedy will spend the night. 
Then they will leave sometime about, uh, oh, I think midday tomorrow is the latest work we have at what time they will leave and fly back. The president's weekend, however, will not be over because uh, word from Washington indicates that the president will meet with uh, Henry Cabot Lodge, who has just returned from South Vietnam, a special presidential uh, mission and advisor out there. And there will be some very uh, lengthy discussions this weekend at the president's Maryland retreat uh, concerning uh, the recognition of a new government in South Vietnam. The possibility and the timing of that recognition will be discussed. So that's the life of a president, however, and uh, so all is uh, not just pleasure this weekend because, as we said, the president gets back to business tomorrow evening when he gets back to Washington. However, there's lots more to come on most of these channels, as we've told you. Most of you saw the breakfast address at the Hotel Texas in Fort Worth this morning, and uh, most of you will see the uh, address this afternoon uh, at 1 o'clock, approximately, over most of these stations. And, of course, we'd like to remind you, too, that the president's takeoff from here at Love Field will uh, be telecast live over most of these stations, uh, beginning at approximately 2.15, 2.30, something along there. Well, the crowd can sure clear out in a hurry, can it? <laughs> As you uh, see right now, and uh, most of them, or a lot of them, I should say, happier than they had anticipated because the president and his wife uh, broke away, came up to the fence off area, went all along the area and shook hands and talked to hundreds of people who were gathered there. A complete surprise and uh, very, uh, very happy people they were indeed. Well, there's not much more to say from Love Field. The caravan now approaching downtown Dallas.